Welcome to the Philip Cockrum channel viewers. Please like, subscribe, share and comment. It helps this channel grow, helps me bring you these great videos that we all love. So on today's show we're going to take a look at some of the snow skis that are available for some of the RC planes out on the market right now. We've got the EFLA 970 set, we've got the Dubro 820 snow bird snow skis and the Park Flyer snow skis which is a 830 number. We're going to try and uh, install them here on one of the landing gears for the full-size turbo timber and we've got the I've got the micro UMX micro turbo timber here which is probably one of the biggest small planes micro planes that there is on the market out there it's got a 700 millimeter wingspan it's pretty big um, and it's got pretty good size wheels about two inches in diameter I would say so I was hoping that these park flyer size would fit on there and I think they're they're kind of okay but we'll take a look when we open up the package uh, Okay, we've got everything opened up here, so let's take a quick look. These are the 830s, the Park Flyer series from Durbro. It's like a thin piece of Lexan. It's all molded. It's got some rails molded into it, guides, if you will, help keep it straight. And the hub itself is molded into it. It's got a couple of little nubs that your springs are going to go against to keep these things pointed up in flight so they don't go down and catch the wind. It's ever so important. There's a little kind of diagram installation and a um, little bit of a verbal instructions there on how to do it. So, you know, you're going to have to choose the right skis for the right size of planes that you've got here, right? Just for an example, here's the micro UMX turbo timber. It's probably one of the bigger biggest micros that there are out there with a 700 millimeter wingspan. The wheels are about two inches or so, maybe even more, two and a quarter inches in diameter on there. I think that would be the right size ski for this plane, but this one has like just a little wire is the axle for the wheels on it. And the, you know, the landing gear doesn't extend longer like it does on the bigger one to be able to put a bolt through it. So you'd really just be having to poke a hole through your this ski and use the what they have in, as an axle but for other smaller planes it does come with some hardware it's not very long a couple of collars there and stuff but i think it'd be you know it's strong enough for the ski for sure um, but whether or not it's going to be long enough for your plane and your landing gear might be a little different story so um from what I've learned about these skis and all the different planes out there, you know, you've got several different companies making kind of a universal ski and you might need to do a little bit of modifications, small adaptations to make them fit on your plane. So let's go to the bigger 828s, the Snowbird snow skis, right? So I was messing around with this, how much it would bend there. So it's, that's why it's a little bit curved there right now, but it's a much more substantial piece of plastic. You can see it's got a rib right down the center of it and it comes with a separate hub to it that you attach. The hubs, hubs like a different type of plastic, a harder type of plastic, less flexible, but it's got little brass bushings pressed into it for your screws to go onto, which is kind of nice, very strong mounting onto this ski. Um, and it comes with more bolts that you can use for your axles, if you will, or to replace axles of your tires and some collars to be able to adjust the position, get it into the correct spot. Um, it's got some little screws or bolts to hold the ski to there and the ever important springs that you need to make sure you get around the right way. Um, these ones come with actually a little bit of uh, instructions here, which looks like they're fairly comprehensive if you don't know what you're doing. Um, so I don't really think we need to go to the length of installing them here other than I did pop this wheel off of this landing gear just to give you an idea that, you know, you can use the bolt that came with this turbo timber um, uh, on this. It's a, it's a little bit loose, but the bolt that comes with it's also a little bit loose too, but you can use the collar to get your, so here's how the landing gear is going to be sitting on the plane like this. This is one half of it, obviously. Um, and you know, you can use the collars that come with it to get these things spaced out the, to the, you know, 
right look or place where they need to be um, and just make sure that you have those springs in the right direction and that's about it. So the Dubro ones do come in several different colors if I didn't mention that earlier. Um, you've got your standard classic black, they have yellow, red, blue, white, I think at least like four or five different colors that you can get which is kind of cool. Um, uh, so what else? Let's, uh, let's uh, move this stuff aside and we'll open up uh, these guys because I'm really excited to take a look at what the E-Flight ones are. They're a little bit more money than these but it does include a little tail ski. I don't remember if I uh, saluted to the Patrictic Brothers Aviation RC Brothers on YouTube. Take a look at their channel if you haven't uh, yet. They're very enthusiastic about flying RC planes and uh, it's very catchy. Um, just before I open this up there, I can't remember if I showed you this in the earlier segment or not, but this is a set of uh, tri-landing gear I got for the Trojans to replace the stock ones there. These ones have uh, nice suspension to them and some half decent wheels and axles. They're very light too. This whole set of three pieces, the front one's a little bit different. I think it's got like a more of a folding springy action. Um, or it's like $16 or something like that. So you're gonna easily spend that on replacement landing gear anyway and you might as well upgrade it to something with a bit of suspension on it to help save your plane on those rough landings. So let's take a look at this uh, E-Flight EFLA 970 tail dragger ski set. Okay, so here's a little look at what we get with our uh, EFLA 970 tail dragger ski set. This bag was inside the box here and it kind of disintegrated very easily, but it had this tag on it. And these look wrapped up pretty nice here. And they look like they're pretty big skis. A lot bigger than the Dubro ones, that's for sure. From what I've seen, there's only several different companies making skis out there, so um, there's not a whole lot of choice. And these ones look actually hard to get. Oh, okay, they're foam. They're not uh, plastic at all, they're foam. This little rear guy is. That's why they're all wrapped in foamy so nice. So there you go. You've got a plastic tip on the front here and a plastic hub part in the center that is glued in. Um, in these odd type of strips, I don't know what kind of material it is, but it's kind of runners on there. I think it's to make them stronger. There's two different types here. The one in the center has like a little bit of texture to it and the one on the side is a little bit outside, it's a little bit smoother. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it's much different. It's, you know, molded a certain way and I think that's kind of, you know, a retainer thing to... Oh, that's just... You, you bolt that to the, to the thing there to stop them from tilting forward so it always stays up, I think. Um, let's take a look at the little tail dragger guy here. This tape on here. Be impossible to open. So this is quite substantial too. You've got the there's the spring to it for a little small ski. So you've got looks like that's going to go you know attach right into your where your real rear tail gear gear is going to be. Um, Another spring. We've got some little hubs, some little bolts there and stuff, some other little springs here. So quite a big difference. There's the springs that hold these ones on. You can see they're kind of, they're very strong springs, right? Quite large in diameter too here. So that's what that little plastic hub thing is going to be for. So Installing these ones is a little bit more involved, obviously, and there is no instructions or anything to it at all, thanks E-Flight. So <laughs> you're kind of, uh, yeah, there's nothing to that. So you're going to kind of have to muddle through and figure that out. I don't know if the uh, um, instruction booklet of any of the planes that they have this model for have any further instructions to install skis on them. Um, 
you know, I'm sure you'll figure it out after a few minutes there and stuff, right? But quite a big difference. Um, I'm actually a little bit disappointed in that, that it's just foam, but it's it's fairly well made. I mean, it's not like stuff's going to hit the top of this foam and, and dent it and stuff like that. Um, um, it feels like it's got kind of like a coating or something on it, too. Um, and obviously they've done it to keep it light and um, maybe, you know, in scale to this. So again, here's the turbo timber and they, this is the flight or ski set that they recommend that come for it. So it looks like it's definitely the right one for that. You can see it goes through there. It's pretty tight actually, so you might want to loosen loosen that up. But as long as it's sitting, you know, like this all the time, and this when when you land, it's going to contour the ground. But it has to be in like this in flight. Um, so they're going to be direct bolt on, and the uh, air tractor that this plane is sitting on too looks like uh, they would be direct bolt ons as well. So. That's your E-Flight EFLA 970 set of skis. You can kind of get an idea what it's going to look like there. Pretty substantial ski, that's for sure. It doesn't feel very heavy at all. It doesn't, you know, from the size of it, what you're looking at. And there's the wheel in comparison. And then to those Dubro ones there, the Dubro ones are quite a bit shorter than these ones, probably only this long. They still look okay, um, but they're, you know, a more solid piece of plastic there and stuff, right? So if I was only gonna buy one set, I would buy the Dubro set. And, you know, I'm gonna install these and fly them one day for sure, but um, they were, I think, twice the money as the Dubro set is. Um, and, you know, totally different, as you can see. <laughs> So, that's our show for you today, folks. Sorry it wasn't a better one. Love and peace from Canada. We are YouTube.